Deer season is in full swing and a lot of hunters are looking forward to that special time of year called the rut. I want to tell you about a few key elements that I look for that help me spot the rut. Now early season the bucks were all bachelor grouped up, they were on that bedding, defeating pattern, and then as we progress into the pre-rut, it's still good to monitor your food sources with the trail cameras like you have been, but you're going to start to see bucks split up a lot more. You're going to start having new bucks show up on your property, you're going to have some of your bucks probably leaving your property, and you're going to start seeing them start to transition from the bedding to feeding more into really working the scrapes and figuring out their territory. So it's a great time if you have a ridge top that you just know is a natural travel route or you have one of those old logging roads or just an area that you know that they always go through and work scrapes. Or if you can find a community scrape on your property, it's a great spot to put over a trail camera. That trail camera is going to be able to monitor it 24 hours a day where you can't. Now from the stand, you're going to start seeing bucks make more scrapes. You're going to see them start testing their oats a little bit and sparring a little bit. You're going to start to see the does get a little bit on edge because of younger bucks especially are going to start kind of pushing them a little bit and they want nothing to do with them at this time. But as we get closer into the peak of the rut, you're going to see a huge transition on your cameras and from the deer stand. If you're spending a lot of time in the stand or watching your trail cameras pretty intensively, you're going to start seeing a lot of yearlings all by themselves. The does are pushing them away, especially if they're a button buck. In the peak of the rut, I've noticed that it's sometimes very hard to even find a mature doe in daylight hours or in the open anywhere you're going to start seeing that they're pretty hard to find because they're going to that thick cover. They want to escape from the pressure of the buck. So it's always good that time of year if you can to put your trail cameras up or even hunt overlooking a thick bedding area. Now the bucks at this time are completely unpredictable, can be anywhere at any time. So it's good just to have as many trail cameras out as you can as possible. It's also a great time to utilize a cellular link camera because that's going to give you real life information as it comes in. Instead of waiting a week to go check it and see that a new buck has moved in on your hunting grounds, you can have it real time sent to your phone, know that that buck is in there or that buck is without a doe right now and it's your time to get in the stand and make sure that you capitalize on that activity. Now that buck could be without a doe for a matter of minutes to hours or sometimes even days. So if you wait too many days to check your trail camera, you're out of luck and he's locked down with another doe already. So as the rut approaches, make sure you're keeping close watch on your trail cameras so you can see the changes and be ready to capitalize on them.